experience. Hi guys, it's Kevin Condor from the Kevin Condor Product Review Experience. That is a long name. And you'll notice I've changed how I'm shooting here. You know, I don't have an office, I don't have a studio, I got this little fucking room and I got shitty light because there's never any light in Stockholm. So I'm trying to do the best I can because I'm trying to bring you a little discovery I made, which maybe some of you have discovered before, about the Joby Gorillapod Focus. Uh, something that will make it more stable when you put it up on three legs on a table. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Alright, so let's take a look at today's tip. Discovery, okay, whatever you want to call it. Okay, the way you normally set up your Joby tripod is you're out there, you're, or you're in, inside is here, you got a table and you set it out, and you set it all flat like that, so you got the legs nice and straight. The only problem is the feet will slip on anything that's the slightest bit slick. So what I proposed to you last time in my other review is if you put a little bit of a bend in the leg down by the feet, it makes it more stable, and it kind of does, but here you can see it's still slipping. Now, if you get the legs straighter, and of course, if you get the camera up higher, it will be more stable. But what I've found is, cue close up on the foot. There it is, the close up on the bottom of the foot. If you give that last ball joint there a little bit of an inward bend, and I don't know if this is because the rubber on the outside of that foot is less worn, although I haven't really put that much wear on this, and it gets a better grip, and here you try and focus your GH2 with a manual lens, and if you look, all those feet, I've put a little bit of an inward bend. Now you got to straighten it up and make sure you get every joint can use the maximum of its strength. I have an NX1 with a pretty big lens on this, so it's not a light load. It's a, really a mid-sized DSLR or a big one with a small lens. That's about the same weight. So if you get it set properly with the feet with that little bit of an inward bend, and you get the legs straight enough that they can use the strength of each ball joint, you might find it's pretty stable. Now, I've left this up overnight, and I'm pretty confident in it when I've got this bent. If you can put pressure on it when it's up like that, you're good to go. So, I mean, that's it for this time. I think it's, it's worked very well for me. I've actually left an NX1 with a pretty big lens. Uh, that's a medium-sized DSLR. I've left it up all night, and I feel secure doing that. Um, just make sure you try and get the legs up a little bit and you bend that foot in like a hundred hundred and ten degree angle there uh, So it's not 90 degrees um, And I think you get more rubber contact with the table. I think that's what makes it a little bit more secure It is not completely secure, but it's a lot better than the normal method. So um, Yeah, I guess goodbye from Sweden. God this weather sucks I mean it snowed last week and the snow is actually pretty nice because it makes things pretty and it covers up all the trash but now it's rain, so like there, there's snow slush out there, and, and the light is just awful. Um, so you notice that my room changes colors, because I can never control the white balance, because I don't really have a light set up here I can use. So that's my excuse for being an incompetent filmmaker. I'm actually extremely thorough on things like that. Uh, you know, when you make a vlog, it kind of teaches you to just fuck it. <laughs> just let it rip sometimes instead of making everything perfect. So it's a bit of an education, I guess. That's it for me this time. Uh, just a little short video, a little short helper video, I hope. Um, I'll be coming back at you soon with a review of a bunch of different kinds of bags. Because we all have lots of bags. You can never have enough bags, can you? Alright, that's it for now. Here's the sign-off. Here it comes. Strength and honor.